Okay, so let's talk about how you actually get JavaScript to work on a web page um, now that you've played with it in um, the, the sample environment that this, the class has provided. Um, so you have two options, kind of like you do with CSS. You can code JavaScript straight on your page, or you can code it in a separate file and then have your page import it. Um, really the big thing is, um, you know, do you want to share it between pages? Then you definitely want to do it in its own file. If you don't want to share it between pages, then it can just be in this page. Um, that's really up to you. Um, and there are some issues about where to place the script, and we'll talk about that in a second. But let me first show you how you do it. So here I, I'm just going to put it in the head here. I'm going to start um, a script tag. Um, and that's basically it. And now right inside these two tags, I can write as much JavaScript as I want. So let's uh, let's write something that we've been messing with. So console.log, log, hey, okay. And now I have my, um, my live preview going already over here in Chrome. So let me open that up and you'll notice, oh, there's nothing here, okay. Um, so the thing is that the console is not the page itself. So if you want to use console.log to test values and sort of debug what you're writing, you can, but you got to know how to get it open. So to get to it, you go into the options for Chrome, and then there's a thing here that says more tools, and at the bottom, developer tools. And when you open that, then one of the tabs up here becomes console, and you'll notice there's my message, hey, um, that printed out to the console. So as I mess with stuff, I want to leave this open if I'm using console.log to see what's happening. Okay. Um, once we start using script to mess with the page and try to access actual tags that we have down inside the body, you'll notice that if the script is up here and it's talking about paragraphs and heading tags and images and stuff that are down here, this script might run before those tags are even rendered and that would cause a problem. So sometimes um, you'll want to, if you're taking actions immediately and not waiting until somebody clicks on something, you'll want to move your script down to right at the end of the body. Um, but for what I'm showing you right now, it doesn't matter because there's nothing else loading on the page anyway. Okay. So I said there's two options. You can either have your, uh, what am I doing? You can either have your script up here um, on the page, or you can have it in an external file. So to make an external JavaScript file, it's very easy. I'm just going to make a new file. Um, and when I go to save it, instead of saving it as an HTML file, I will, and I'm going to put it on my desktop because that's where the other thing is. And so if they're sitting right next to each other, then just like with CSS, you'll only need the file name and not the path and stuff. So I'm going to call this my script. And then the extension, if it's JavaScript, has to be .js, okay? And then in here, I can write whatever JavaScript I want, so um, I'm not going to need these guys. So there is my script. It's a console.log. Oops. I'll save this, okay? And then I'm going to go back to my HTML file. And instead of having all this stuff in here, I am going to add in here a source attribute, so SRC, and it's going to offer me my script. There it is. And now it's just like that code was written on the page. Now you'll notice that even though this is a, an opening and a closing tag, there's actually not going to be anything in between them, so I'm going to get rid of this weird spacing. Um, and that will bring in any JavaScript that's in an external file. Let me just go refresh my page over here to confirm. Yes, there's my message, hey. Okay. Um, and while I have you here, um, I wanted to show you one more thing because you've seen in the course, you've seen prompt and you've seen confirmation messages. And there's one more that's kind of helpful when you're working. If you don't want to have the console open, but you want to just pop up a value real quick and see what it is. And that is um, an alert. So here's what it looks like. Um, you just say alert. And then test, like put whatever value you want in there. If you have some variables, you can print those out, whatever. And what this is what it looks like when it renders. So there it is. Page says test and has the OK button. So it's almost like a confirm message, except there's no cancel button. So they can only say OK. It's just like oh, pop. Now they have your attention. Um, OK. Now, um, if you have a pop up blocker running, that will not work. So just be aware that people may not see your, your alerts or your confirms or whatever if they have pop-up blockers off. I mean, on.